So what's your story? I got a chance to meet with one woman who shows us how a new hero for Acadiana's comic lovers was born. In a small storefront, down a long, narrow hall adorned with Earth's mightiest heroes, is where you'll find Teresa Moran, where for the last three decades she's watched over Acadiana comics and collectibles, in a small store housing big stories. Comic books are to entertain, educate, and inspire. He used to go to UofL and they used to run a strip in UofL. My mom used to read it. And when I told At her 68, that, Teresa doesn't meet the stereotype of a guardian of such sacred texts as Star Wars or Wonder Woman. But like many heroes, Teresa was brought here by fate. A guy was advertising for help. So I interviewed and he said, well, you're overqualified. I said, yeah, I know, but I think I can help you and I just want to stay in the area. The economic downturn in the 80s had left jobs scarce. So leaving a job selling homes for a builder, Teresa started working at the small comic store. And then it got bought out by a lady's husband who was a geophysicist for Tenneco, and she was an accountant. So she ended up leaving the area and just practically dumping it in my lap. And after years of hard work... Uh, when I first started to, to get it going and keep it going, uh, I, I was working six and a half days a week for seven and a half years. It took that long to really get it stable. And a few lessons along the way. That it's very important to prioritize because you can get bogged down in details. A new hero for Acadiana's comic lovers was born. One day I had a little boy and I started to say hello and, and before I could say hello he said, um, he looked at that little boy and he says, I'm bringing you here like my dad brought me when I was little. For 26 of those years, Teresa's husband helped her with the store before sadly passing. And then he only went down the last year in 2018. He started to, to go down. And I just kept him. I have a little break area. I just kept him here and close to me so I could help take care of him. And while her husband has passed, Teresa still minds the store, keeping stocked the shelves that he helped build and remaining a fixture in Acadiana's comic culture. They're like my family. I, I wasn't fortunate enough to be able to have children because of various reasons through the years, health issues and so forth and so on, and this and that. And uh, so I've seen at least three, maybe four generations are starting to come along now. Now, even keeping a little time to herself and getting to enjoy her time. I came out of the womb dancing. Dancing every chance she gets. We'll dance at the drop of a hat in a grocery store, on the street, I anywhere we go. We, we give him a little demo. He spins me real fast and we just we go to all the local bands and big band and uh, downtown live and, and all that. We constantly dance. In Lafayette, I'm Daniel Phillips, KTC TV3. And we are soliciting your stories. If you have a story or you know someone who has a story, send that to What's Your Story at KTCTV.com, my Facebook page, news email, any of those various places. So if you think uh, that you have a story and you want to share it, let us know.